so she's gonna bring it to us tomorrow, so we just gotta be able to deal with her. How much um, do you, in general, pay attention to what's going on around the conference? I do. I mean, it's all over my social media platforms. If you follow anybody, if I follow you, I'm gonna see it. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I am aware of it. Like we always look at scores of the games when our games end, we're always talking about like, oh, so-and-so beat so-and-so. Like, we're looking at the other standings of the other Pac-12 teams that played the same nights as us. So, I mean, you look at it, but I mean, at the end of the day, I just feel like we have to focus on your team and what's best for Arizona because, like you said, like, scores are weird. Like, I feel like if anybody watched our game against Colorado, like, if you just look at the score versus, like, how the game actually went, it's too complicated. Passes back to her and her goal kicks. Well, UCLA has owned the series history. The Wildcats have only defeated the Bruins once, and that was 15 years ago in 2004. Will this time be different? Tony Amato and company sure hope so, and we'll begin to answer that question after the break. It's Pac-12 women's soccer. Don't you dare touch that dial. Blue uniforms. It's a perfect night for some soccer here in Tucson. Let's take a look at the starting lives for both teams. There's head coach Amanda Cromwell. She's done a fantastic job in her seventh season sending out the following 11. Mentioned this team would have a different look. Well, Jesse Fleming, their star midfielder, is with the Canadian national team, so she's not here as well. Kennedy Faulkner getting her second start of the season. Moving. This is what their starters look like. It's Morgan McGarry and Sabrina Nciso, their outside backs. Hallie Pearson and Samantha Pelasco, part of a starting back line that has returned from 20 2018 and got off to a great goal score seven goals led the team this year she leads the team with five assists Tony Amato saying well I think she knew she was going to be on more scouting reports this year so the big focus in the offseason was trying to help her focus on creating opportunities for her teammates the junior from Corona California in the Inland Empire i.e. stand up and she has really taken that message to heart Arizona, thanks to that player on your screen, Jada Talley, getting her third goal of the season. And Amanda Cromwell, the one nil lead at the half. What'd you make of the way the first 45 minutes went for your side? Uh, really proud of the team. Uh, they've done a really good job. I, I petitioned uh, in the offseason for games to go 60 minutes instead of 90. Uh, where we'd, we'd win, you know, hopefully a shorter game here. But uh, with 90 minutes to go, we still got a lot of work to do with 45 to go in a 90-minute game. Well, I know you've wanted to see more goals from Jada Talley. She's been great assisting this year. You figured the goals would come, and they certainly came there in the 28th minute. What did you see from that strike from Jada? She's very capable of that. I thought we should have had one before that, and our keeper made a good save. And so we just have to keep that going. You know, goals come in bunches for Jada where she scores a couple games in a row and then uh, doesn't score, but she's been a provider. And... Uh, we expect more from her in the second half. Thanks for your time, Tony. Best of luck in the second half. Thanks. <laughs> All right, that is a one nil lead over UCLA, the 16th ranked team in the country. Jada Talley in the 28th minute, giving the Wildcats the one nil edge. Hitting the woodworks. Then here's another good opportunity. Look at this feed in from Wilson to set up Madison Gorlinger, but a great save made there by Lauren Brisky. And then Jada Talley, Arizona known for its high pressure. Stripping the center back, that extra touch outside. Kaya McCullough does get to the goal line, but Talley gets her third goal of the season. That's the only score we've had coming in the 28th minute. Jada Talley putting up Arizona 1-0. We'll go to break and come back with a start of the second half. After this, you're watching Pac-12 Women's Soccer on Pac-12 Networks. 
Arizona thanks to Jada Talley's tally in the 28th. But as we take a look at the stats here, UCLA with a 7-4 shot edge, but it's Arizona with the three on two shots on goal edge. Risky a couple of saves. Corner kick edge goes to UCLA, three to one. Then a rather cleanly played first half. Four fouls for Arizona, three for the Bruins. Again, tally with the goal for the Cats. And it'll be UCLA possession to kick off. And a couple of subs for Arizona. Checking in Brooke Wilson and Jada Talley replacing Jill Aguilera and Hannah Clifford. Sally again, the goal scorer. In the 28th minute, Jada, good footwork. Wins a throw in. And at the very least, this eats up some clock. As they are 23 minutes and 45 seconds away from sending UCLA to its second straight 0-2 Pac-12 start. Wildcats tally with McCullough. Come on, Mama! Right in front of her, Jada Talley. Oh! Well, Pac-12 Saturday football action. It's a conference double. It's 3-0 Arizona. A brace for Jada Talley. And the Wildcats, five and a half minutes away from their first Pac-12 win of the season. Uh, fans loving it here at Mulcahy Soccer Stadium. Jada Talley. Came into this match with only two goals after seven last season. Beautiful ball in. Gets past that back line and a perfect touch into the far corner. Brisky frozen there. And Jada Talley matching her goal total on the season with the brace tonight. She's got four now. So UCLA gets a corner. A foul call uh, against UCLA. Oh, if it wasn't over before, which uh, two goals certainly can be made up by a team as powerful as UCLA. 3-0, very tough to make up with just under. What a night for Arizona soccer. Two goals from Jada Talley. A golasso supreme from Brooklyn. Program history, the first time in 15 years as the Wildcats run onto the pitch to celebrate this well-deserved 3-0 triumph. The Brooke Wilson signs in attendance and they have to be happy with that brilliant goal scored by Brooke Wilson in the 68th minute. Jada Talley, a brace. And Arizona will take a one and one conference record, seven and two overall, into their Sunday match with top five USC. The road doesn't get any easier for Arizona. But they do have their second win against UCLA. And their first positive result of the conference season. Certainly had some good wins in the non-league slate, defeating Arizona, T uh, Oklahoma, TCU. UC Irvine's usually a pretty good side. But none of those teams compare to the UCLA Bruins. And 3-0. Very convincing. Jada Talley making her way over to a headset. And we've got Jada joining us. Jada, congratulations thank on the you. win. Thank you, thank you. What does it feel like to beat UCLA? I don't even, 
I don't know. Like, I just remember, like, we were talking about, like, I could literally cry right now just because I'm so happy. I feel like I've been having, um, like, a tough year myself, like, just scoring, and, like, this kind of solidifies it. Like, you work for your team, and we practice so hard for moments like this, and, like, I don't think it gets any sweeter than this. Like, this is crazy for all of us, and, like, it's history for our team, for Arizona. We're not one of those big teams where it's, and we're not, like, Stanford, we're not a USC, we're not a UCLA in our conference, and, like, it just shows people you work hard and hard work pays off. I know we don't have all the technical players and stuff, but we have girls that work hard consistently every single day, and it's for moments like this. Well, Jada, you mentioned it wasn't the season you've wanted to this yeah. point scoring wise, but you have <laughs> five assists this year. You've been brilliant yeah. dishing out to your teammates. Tony Amato told me this week the goals were going to come for you, and they came tonight. Yeah. Walk us through your two goals. Oh, the first one, I don't. I feel like pressing is one of my big strong suits. I know I'm not super, super good on the ball, I would say. Um, but I know I do work my butt off like everybody else on my team. And Tony just says, he always tries to um, keep my confidence up. They're going to come, they're going to come, they're going to come. And like, that's a little moment you work for that. It's three extra steps and like, you get something out of it. And that was the first one. <laughs> and the second one, I would just say that's Kel's perfect ball from Kels. And like, I just do what I do best, and that's run. And then uh, I've been working with our uh, other coach, Kyle, on how to slot the ball. Coach Paul helps me on where to slot the ball, and I just looked up and seen it open. And it went in. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it was certainly a brilliant strike there. And Thank you. speaking of brilliant strikes, how about Brooke Wilson's oh, goal? Oh, my goodness. What can I say? Brooke? There's a reason why she's leading our team right now in goals, and that's it. And I always thought she gets down on herself when she shanks one. And I'm like, girl, you're the best shooter on our team. <laughs> if you don't keep shooting. So that's what Brooke does best. That's her thing, is shooting from outside the box. And you've seen the goal. I don't need to say anything else about it. <laughs> well, Tia, thanks for joining us. Congrats yeah. on the win. And best thank of luck you. against USC. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now that is Arizona junior striker <laughs> Jada Talley. And we've got Jada joining us. Jada, congratulations thank on the you. win. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What does it feel like to beat UCLA? I don't even, I don't know. Like, I just remember, like, we were talking about, like, I could literally cry right now just because I'm so happy. I feel like I've been having, um, like, a tough year myself, like, just scoring and, like, this kind of solidifies it. Like, you work for your team, and we practice so hard for moments like this, and, like, I don't think it gets any sweeter than this. Like, this is crazy for all of us, and, like, it's history for our team, for Arizona. We're not one of those big teams where it's, and we're not, like, Stanford, we're not a USC, we're not a UCLA in our conference, and, like, it just shows people you work hard and hard work pays off. I know we don't have all the technical players and stuff, but we have girls that work hard consistently every single day, and it's for moments like this. Well, Jada, you mentioned it wasn't the season you've wanted to this yeah. point scoring-wise, but you have had five <laughs> assists this year. You've been brilliant yeah. dishing out to your teammates. Tony Amato told me this week the goals were going to come for you, and they came tonight. Yeah. Walk us through your two goals. Oh, the first one, I don't... I feel like pressing is one of my big strong suits. I know I'm not super, super good on the ball, I would say. Um, but I know I do work my butt off like everybody else on my team. And Tony just says he always tries to um, keep my confidence up. They're going to come, they're going to come, they're going to come. And, like, that's a little moment you work for that. It's three extra steps, and, like, you get something out of it. And that was the first one. <laughs> and the second one, I would just say that's Kel's perfect ball from Kels. And, like, I just do what I do best, and that's run. And then uh, I've been working with our uh, other coach, Kyle, on how to slot the ball. Coach Paul helps me on where to slot the ball, and I just looked up and seen it open. And it went in. <laughs> well, it, it was certainly a brilliant strike there. And Thank you. Speaking of brilliant strikes, how about Brooke Wilson's oh, goal? Oh, my goodness. What can I say? Brooke, there's a reason why she's leading our team right now in goals, and that's it. And I always thought she gets down on herself when she shanks one. And I'm like, girl, you're the best shooter on our team. <laughs> if you don't keep shooting. So that's what Brooke does best. That's her thing is shooting from outside the box. And you've seen the goal. I don't need to say anything else about it. <laughs> well, Tia, thanks for joining us. Congrats yeah. on the win. And best thank of luck against you. USA. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now that is Arizona junior striker Jada Talley after the break.